Hello, I'm Ken Fobb. This is Newsnet Baton Rouge. Grab a tea or coffee as I go over with you headlines and news from our local area and region. The Louisiana Department of Children and Family Services began a new effort to collect past due child support in July of this year called the On the Road Again Project. In its first month alone, the program collected nearly $122,000 in overdue child support payments, and these funds were owed to 174 children. At the same time, it provided 140 delinquent child support paying parents the opportunity to get their respective driver's licenses reinstated. As of now, this project has collected in excess of nearly $400,000 in past due child support payments for the direct benefit of nearly 500 Louisiana children and nearly 400 Louisiana families. All delinquent child support paying parents are encouraged to opt into this on the road again project in order to have their suspended driving licenses reinstated. And for more information, simply visit your local child support enforcement office. A highway commuters video recording captured a school bus speeding down a rural highway between stops along Louisiana Highway 441 near Mount Pelier, Louisiana. The video recording shows the school bus reaching speeds of up to 75 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour speed zone. The bus appeared to be from the Holden, Louisiana area, and when the video footage was posted on social media, it understandably caused an uproar of concern from parents. The matter was investigated by the Livingston Parish School System. The school system acknowledged that it was a driver of one of its buses. However, so far, they have indicated that the driver will not be fired. From the Brownsville area in East Baton Rouge Parish, officials say several pets, five cats to be exact, died in a recent house fire. On Wednesday morning around 9 a.m., the Central Fire Department, along with the Baton Rouge and Baker Fire Departments, assisted the Brownsville Fire District when called to a house fire on Governor Davis Drive. No one was reported to be in the home at the time of the blaze, and no human injuries were reported. The exact cause of the fire is under investigation. The Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development will be conducting an open house for the public to discuss the proposed construction of a flyover ramp from I-10 West and an exit ramp from I-12 West to College Drive in Baton Rouge. Officials believe this flyover ramp will improve traffic flow within the I-10, I-12 split or interchange. The public is invited to ask questions and to discuss ideas related to this project. This meeting will take place on Thursday, October 24th at the Baton Rouge Marriott located at 5500 Hilton Avenue from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. These have been local and regional headlines and news. I'm yours truly, Ken Fobb, and I'll see you next time right here on Newsnet Baton Rouge. Have a safe and blessed weekend.